She smelled like heaven. A fruity, floral cocktail that swirled in the late August air around her and carried the heady mixture straight into his nostrils, flooding his senses until everything in his world was her. The sway of her hips, the graceful curve of her neck, the curly black strands that grazed her shoulders, brushing over golden skin, caressing her in places his fingers longed to touch. He couldn't help but think that was how she wanted it. His entire being awestruck, his soul stunned into silence while she imprinted herself on his skin with her very existence. Why else would she have come out here? to the back porch of the frat house where he was the sole occupant. He was the only person who needed a break from the music pounding through the speakers, the stench of alcohol he wouldn't drink seeping into his lungs, the overwhelming swell of people packed into the living room turned dance floor, trying to enjoy the first party of the year. It seemed every person who'd opted to move onto New Haven University's campus early, had come out to party. But he had only come out here to get away from her. To make sense of the magnetic pull that locked into place the moment their eyes met. She had just walked in and was surveying the crowd. And he, well, all he could see was her. The face of an angel with a body made for sin. She was even wearing white, a mini dress that hugged all of her curves and was probably what caught his attention in the first place. And now he knew she didn't just look like an angel, she smelled like one too.